guys, it's Monica. Thank you for joining me tonight in my Throwback Thursday series. In this video, I'm going to talk about two products, and then I'm going to share with you a, a special memory. Sort of bittersweet, but extremely special. So if you're interested, stay tuned. <laughs> talk about the skincare products I wanted to mention. I get asked about this all the time and since this is sort of my Thursday throwback theme, I thought I would look at some products that I've been using for quite a while and kind of like, how am I still using them? Am I still using them? And the first one, and I know I've mentioned this in previous videos, is my Olay Eyes. This is the Pro Retinol Eye Treatment. This is the UK version. First of all, I'm awful sorry about my nails. I ended up pulling my, my, um, my, uh, what do you call it? The powder dip off. My nails are ugly, but anyways. So Olay Pro Retinol. This is the basic eye treatment that I use on my eyes. So I, I, this is only the UK version as far as I know. I've looked around. There is no dupe or whatever that I can see of this product on the US market. So the Olay Pro Retinol. I've been using it for I think about two years now, maybe a little bit more. I apply this like a retinol, like a retin-A, but I go right around my eyes. I go right to where all my deep wrinkles are. I do go above by my brow bone and down and around. I use this probably just about every night. This is not my eye cream. I am using another eye cream that I use in the morning. I also use at night. That's completely different than this. This is my version of eye retinol, retin-A. And that's what I use it for. So I have a full tube I haven't even opened yet. This one is almost out. I'm fortunate enough to be able to get this because I have friends in the UK that will send this to me when I need it. And I have other friends that travel to the UK and last time they went they bought me two of them. So um, we have two, um, two co-workers that are that's from England actually and one goes back an awful lot. So yeah. Anyways I love this stuff. I know I can probably buy it on the UK Amazon and, you know, or even other things like eBay, but I don't want to do that. I would just much rather buy it, get it the way I am, pay someone to send it to me or pick it up for me. I love this. I still use this. I hope I can continue to get it, to be honest with you, because I really, really like this. Now, at the time I started to use it, I had also seen... I think it was Sugar Puff and Fluff had also started to use it, and she had, her results were amazing, and her, res, her amazing results happened a lot quicker than mine. I think my results on this have been really fantastic, but much, much slower over the course of time. And I'm the type of person, if I kind of believe in a product, if I see enough of a change or a slight improvement to me, I look at myself under a 10 times mirror every day, if I see enough of some sort of a shift that I believe it's a certain product, I'll keep using it and keep using it because I believe that over time it works better. So this has been a staple for a couple of years and will continue to be that in my, my makeup skincare stash. <laughs> The other thing I wanted to mention is the, and I'm right now I'm just going to hold you the uh, hold up the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution. After I wash, in the morning, sometimes at night, all really depends on my skin. I always use a toner on my skin. Now this is just one of many toners that I use. I don't use a glycolic toner every single day. Sometimes my skin might need it, then I'll increase it. But normally I probably use this a couple of times a week. Very affordable. I really like this. This is by The Ordinary. There's a couple of other glycolic toners that I want to try, but depending on how I feel about them, I'll probably reorder this. This is probably my third bottle of it since I've been using it. I really like it. I do use other toners, like I said. I have um, some uh, snail toners grosses me out. I have some seaweed toners. I have many different toners that I really like. But when I need that glycolic, when I need that extra push, because you know, when your skin turns over, it's like gummy, it's gooky, it sticks, and you just need to remove that layer. So 
a number of things that I use to remove that layer. This is just one of them and I'm still using it. So for my throwback, an affordable, I think, toner, glycolic, use it if you can. The other thing that I use a lot and I don't have it in here is I have um, alpha hydroxy acid from Studio 35. I don't think you can buy that anymore. I happen to really like that. I put that on my face in the morning and I'll let that sit in maybe for 20 minutes or so and then I'll wash it off. Uh, it's a cream. I don't leave it on real long time, just for like about 20 minutes, maybe to an hour tops. All depends on how busy I am, what my time frame is. I'll do that. You know, to me, I think it's really super important to try to Take care of your skin the best you can, the best you can afford, which is why I think I was so super excited about being able to discover, in that sense, open formula so far. And I talked about the, those products in one of my previous videos. So far, I'm really loving that brand. I'll link the information below. Talk about affordability. It is super affordable. So those are my kind of like my products that I wanted to talk about. I didn't want to make this super long video, but... Now I'm going to talk to you about a memory, or a fond, a fond memory, bittersweet, and we're all in the midst of this corona virus, and I know many people have suffered greatly from it, and um, people have lost their lives, people have lost their loved ones from this virus. I'm hoping that the light will be soon at the end of the tunnel, that we'll be able to see and find our way out of it because none of us, I think, could ever have imagined what we're going through now. For me, for myself, I've been fortunate because none, none of my immediate family, friends, and loved ones, immediate family, friends, and loved ones have been infected that we know of. We have had some friends of friends, some friends of co-workers, and even some co-workers that have. So firsthand, I can see it. I'm just blessed that immediately my family is, they're all okay. That said, back in October, those of you that have been with me a while, you know that my dad was really sick. He was in the hospital for an awful long time. He came home a little bit before Thanksgiving. And he he's, he's doing okay, but he's not doing well. And in October, I kept saying, let dad live. Let dad have a good life the remainder of his time with us. But my goal was I wanted to see my mom and dad dance on the anniversary. I wanted to see them on their 70th anniversary dance together. My mom and dad have danced as long as I can remember. They have danced together at weddings. My mom and dad both love to dance. They just love, love to dance. and. Most of the time at weddings, you know, when they have the couples go up and you stay dancing and they say, if you've been married 10 years, those people sit down, 20. My mom and dad were always the last couple at that game, at the wedding game, standing or dancing because they love to dance and they've been married so long. So in October, I said, please, please, I want to see mom and dad dance on their 70th anniversary. And if not dance, I want to see them together. I wanted them to be together. I never imagined, ever, that their 70th anniversary would be spent in isolation and that the best I could do to see them would be through a window or through a door. And imagine that. And I didn't imagine that I couldn't see them dance, even if it was just a little tiny movement around the house with music playing. But in my heart they will always be dancing because I will always envision them in all those pictures and dancing to the music like in this particular clip that I'm going to share with you now. This is my mom and dad dancing at the German club a couple of years back. And my dad always was an amazing dancer. I could never keep up with him. He and my mom owned the floor when they danced. They owned the floor. So I will always treasure these memories of my mom and dad dancing. And God willing, when this corona thing is over, maybe we can have a belated 70th anniversary celebration. Because today, April 9th, is their 70th anniversary. So happy anniversary, mom and dad. And thank you to all of you for staying and watching or listening to me sort of 
talk about my mom and dad and their 70th, 70th anniversary and all of that. I truly appreciate all your support. I truly appreciate all the times that you come to my, my channel, all the times you leave me thumbs up. I do. And sometimes I probably don't say it enough, but I have the best subscribers. I have the best family too. So with lots of love from my family to your family, we will get through this together. We will. Stay strong, stay safe, and try as hard as you can to stay positive. And I know that's hard. Even for me, who's a, uh, a super positive person, even for me sometimes that's so hard to dig in, to find that. So, bye guys.